It always comes to this. Hello there guys, here to do another Tattoo Progress update today. Where I last left off, I had showed off the little bit of color that, uh, well not a little bit, quite a bit of color that Rick did on the uh, top of my left arm slash shoulder area. Um, it was uh, mostly blues, a little bit of pink, green, and uh, some light purples used. And um, they're all healed up. Um, it was a super easy heal. Always is. Most times I get tattooed by Rick. I'm healed within two days. I know that sounds crazy, but it is true. Um, we could probably be working on um, those same areas like immediately after, within probably a week or two. Um, the limp, the, the quickest I've ever worked on anything like that was worked on previously was three weeks after the fact. But I'm actually starting to think that I could probably be doing it within a week or two and probably be fine but there's always enough going on that uh there there's no rush you can always work around things you can always hit other places while uh certain places are healing the only reason why i bring that up is because i've had a lot of people ask me uh how soon is too soon for a second pass blackout and i would always recommend that you wait even just a little bit longer for uh heavy saturation stuff usually four to five weeks would be ideal you can hit it as soon as three weeks if it's all healing well but i feel like you'll have a more successful uh second pass if you wait a little bit longer um, with that said um, i've got session coming up with uh terry tomorrow um we'll be working on my head i'm not sure whether we're going to do the second pass of the red on black up here or the second pass on the thorns i don't know exactly which way i want to go about it um I'll probably make my mind up tomorrow. Um, the thorns will be less work. They just need uh, a little more white, maybe just a touch of black in some spots. And uh, then I want to do the red highlights in them like I was talking about. They won't be the same red. They'll be a brighter red, so they'll be more like the red that was used, um, say, on my underarm here uh, and on my chest. So that nebula red by Fusion. Um, again, this red was chosen to be darker. This is red velvet. So not only can you cover black with red, you can cover it with multiple different shades of red. Now, uh, before I start uh, rambling and getting lost in my own thoughts, I'll just quickly show off what Rick and I did. So you can see we added to the same tone, same color palette. This up here is now healed, of course. So all of that went in really well, healed really well. Um, it's not super, super striking from a distance. I'm completely honest with you guys. But I don't know that it needs to be really. I, I think that like if you get enough different contrasts in there, um, it's not going to really be a big deal that it's not super striking from a distance. Um, I think the, the whole point is to just saturate it away from you know, the, um, the dynamic black round. Um, and if we can do that, then, um, you won't really need to worry about, um, it looking too similar to it because there won't be any of it left. Now, that being said, you can tell that it's, um, clearly a different color. Um, we did more of the light pink and light purple in there. And, uh, I really like the, uh, texture that we've created with this. And, um, this looks like what the skin tone would be for such a creature. This kind of looks like uh, what a Cth like Cthulhu should look like, in my opinion. I don't know that you can really get this coloration over a normal skin. So, again, uh, not to say that you couldn't do a Cthulhu that would be as cool over, like, regular skin. Um, you would have to do it a different way, and I don't know that you could get these colors, these tones. It has more of, like, almost like a... Yeah, it has more of a feel to it. Like, it's got more of a thick texture. Uh, it looks leathery. <laughs> um, which is funny, because you would assume that my skin would be leathery, but it's actually not. It feels no different. 
I get so many people who ask me if my skin feels any different to the touch these days. The answer is it just doesn't. So to contrast the fact that there, this isn't as striking visually from a distance, um, though you can see it, I, I'll, I'll mention that um, though this is a subtle change, the colors, they're, they're more subtle. Um, from a distance, you can see the sleeve a whole lot easier now. Um, whereas with the just the black on black, it was a little bit harder to pick out like the black lines from across the room as they settled. But now that there are different tones in there, I don't know if it's a trick of the eye or what it is, but it pries everything apart. So I can go stand across the room and you can see the face now. Now, still people who don't know what they're looking at aren't going to know what they're looking at. Like I had a guy t comment on my TikTok. He's like, I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Because <laughs> a lot of people aren't familiar with the subject matter. I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, in contrast to the more subtle high or the subtle uh, color on black, uh, Rick and I used a, believe it or not, two different types of orange, um, purple, blue, and there's even a little bit of uh, pink in there. Now it all kind of looks like it's just like a, an orange on black. Um, I even had one guy say it looked like white on black because when white on black is healing, it'll go, or when white ink is in the skin at all, it kind of goes pinky or uh, has like kind of an orange shine to it sometimes. Well, the, um, the damage is done to the tissue and it's still bloody and all that. Um, it's not though. It's multiple shades of orange, some pink and some purple. Um, I think that having a few of these focal points in and amongst the the more subtle skin that this creature is going to have the more of like a this uh, leathery kind of um, alien texture that we're creating for its skin i think that it'll just draw attention to it it'll pull the eye in and then when you're there you'll notice everything else so again this is kind of going down it's kind of meeting in, in the middle of what i was talking about where i said Early on, I wanted this to be a mostly white on black sleeve, white and black on black, but um, uh, we ended up going more full color with it. And though it is full color, it would have been full color if it had been white on black too, to be honest, because you're still saturating everything. But I digress. While this is a full color, um, like a colorful black on black project, um, it maintains a similar tone to what's happening on my torso, um, more so than what's happening on my chest or my, uh, my other sleeve, just because the colors are, um, they're more muted, but they're there. They create high points and, uh, they create dimension with the, the black on black that was added. And they, they come across almost as if it's that like white and black on black mix. So it's kind of the, the meeting of two worlds, or in my opinion, the best of two worlds. But um, there'll be people who disagree. There always are. Um, there are still people who hate my chest piece. There are still people who love my chest piece. Um, but mostly, it's people who don't know what the fuck it is. Um, equal amounts won't know what the Cthulhu sleeve is, I'm sure. But at least... Uh, we went with a little bit more recognizable imagery there. Um, still feel like I'm having to explain it all the time. And um, there's no shortage of dumb questions. But like I've tried to take the, the foot off the gas with that a little bit. Because I understand that what I'm doing, I'm in the extreme. And especially when things aren't fully done yet. Like a lot of this is going to be passed more than once. Um I don't really expect that most people are ever going or are going to understand it until it's done. Like when I was doing the rose sleeve, I had lots of comments like, well, how are you going to connect all this? What? You're just slapping roses all over the place. What is the point of this? Like fucking simmer down, you know, be patient, wait, have a little faith. I, I obviously have a direction by now. There's a plan in motion and you're not going to get there right from the start. It takes time. And I understand more and more that um, people just want to trade coin for tattoos. They don't really want to be involved in the creative process or 
the hobby or sport of it like I do. I get it. Most people assume that when you go to the tattoo shop, you pay for the tattoo a little bit like you would buy a burger at McDonald's. You should get it hot, fresh, ready to go. It should be a printed out sleeve on your skin within a session or two. That's not what I'm doing here. That's never what I'm going to be doing here. I don't want to do that. Um, there's a good chance that I could still be picking away on this sleeve a year from now. And that thought doesn't make me unhappy. It makes me happy. I like the idea that I can keep making this better. I like the idea that um, if I check in with myself three months from now, um, I have less doubters for one and I have a cooler sleeve. It's, it's always going to be like that. The more I do, the more people are going to come along. And I had some uh, pushback on one of my angry laser rants the other day. Um, but this is, this is my theory. When I have more of this to show, and when we've done more of the work over black at the, the shop that I'm at now, there's, and as we inspire other people to do that stuff, I do feel like more people are going to take the path that I've taken. I don't think that, uh, I don't think that that's me being silly or uh, self-indulgent either. I think that most people don't want to go first. You would be shocked to know how many people have messaged me over the last few months saying, I was waiting to see how your stuff would turn out. And because of how well it's turned out, how well the colors stayed, um, how well the white did, I'm now doing that myself. Nobody wants to take a chance. Nobody wants to roll the dice. Maybe they don't have the money. Maybe they don't have the... Maybe, maybe they're just worried about being embarrassed about wearing something suboptimal or unfinished for a while. I don't know what the case is. I can't speak for everyone. People have got their reasons why. But one thing I've learned, um, especially when it comes to body mod type stuff, no one wants to go first. But the minute you see Remy surviving um, and thriving and all of the work not going away... Um, for one thing, it's going to piss off a lot of people. Um, but those same people are going to be taking notes. All of my biggest haters are probably also studying what I'm doing. Um, but it's also going to inspire the people who have been, um, cautious, you know, wanting to do something new, but, um, not sure it will work and not wanting to make a big mess. I can completely understand that. Um, for those people, you don't have to worry about it. I've done the hard work. I've gone there. I found out that it's doable, but it takes patience. Now for the haters, um, I feel like there's no metric that I could succeed on that would be enough to stop them from doubting. For example, I had one guy who said that, uh, the only reason why I have any of my work stays is because I've had it done six times over, which is absolutely fucking nonsense. Nothing on me has been done six times over. No one of these tattoos has been done six times over. The most that anything has been done is twice and then highlighted. Which isn't actually that much to ask, by the way. So, I don't know where the idea comes from that I'm touching up every tattoo I have every week. But that's become an idea amongst tattooers. That's becoming the new excuse. I've heard that perpetuated when I get tagged in things on Instagram as an example of... Um, this kind of work working the comments without me even checking them I already know what they're going to be oh well that guy gets touched up every week I haven't had any of this touched up in fucking months there's nothing like that if I was getting this all touched up every week I wouldn't be able to continue I wouldn't have a near full body of work over black I wouldn't be able to do my head my neck both arms my chest my torso my armpits which aren't going anywhere, by the way. The back of my neck, which hasn't changed since October, when a guy who's never done white and black on black before just tried it. That was his first time he ever did it, and it worked out. And he was using whatever ink we had. He didn't even use his own tattoo machine. He had no idea what he was doing. He was just trying a thing. If it weren't for the fact that this work was aging and staying... I wouldn't be able to do that. I wouldn't be able to keep making progress. I wouldn't be able to worry about this sleeve and uh, whatever work it's going to need because I'd still be working on my chest or my torso. So if you're thinking I'm getting everything touched up every week, you're just not using your brain. It is that simple. It's not a question. It's not some debate. There is no debate about whether this works or not anymore. 
The only debate is whether you're in denial or whether you like it or not. Because there's always those people who are like, yeah, well, it's just ugly. Nobody said you couldn't do it. They said you shouldn't do it. It's like, no, no, asshole. They said you couldn't do it. I've shown you can do it. Now people are coming up with um, excuses. Um, they're coming up with um, shifting guideposts, um, goal stones. Let's see it in 20 years. Well, let's see anything in 20 years is always my answer to that. Everything's going to get worse in time. No tattoo. And sorry to the guys who think that their tattoos look the same as they did when they first got them. They don't. Um, tattoos all change. They all change. It doesn't matter if they look similar to what they do. We're, we're playing language games at that point. Every tattoo will fade. Once it's saturated, though, it stays close to how, it's, how it looks. What they want to say, but they don't have the words or the knowledge to say, is that it's hard to saturate color over black. It doesn't, what they're not, they're not saying it, they may be saying it doesn't last. What they mean is it's hard to saturate. Once it's in, it doesn't just vanish. I don't know where people get this idea that tattoos just vanish. It doesn't matter where you put them. It doesn't matter what you do over, like it doesn't matter what you're putting them over. They're not going to vanish any differently. It's going to be the same gradual fade out that it always is. It's just harder to get them to show up over black. We need to change the whole understanding of that. We're probably not going to because they understand that I'm in a niche. But what I really wish is that people wouldn't talk so certainly about things they know absolutely nothing about. Um, especially when there's a lot of information out there on the subjects now that if you actually wanted an educated answer, if you actually wanted to see the healed work, it already exists. You still see so many people that are like, yeah, but let's see it healed. I even had a guy come into my TikTok comments the other day. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to get too excited until I see it healed. It's like, dude, I post healed tattoos more than anyone on the planet. More than anyone on the planet. Every day. Every fucking day. On multiple social media feeds. Unedited. Here I am. Talking to a phone camera at the shop wall. Healed tattoos everywhere. There is no lack of that. And I have never hidden what things healed like. I'll show you when things don't go perfect. I show you when they do. I show you everything in between that. So there really is no reason to say that ever again. Especially not to my stuff. But if you're looking for healed white and black on black or color on black, just fucking Google it. It comes up right away. It's not hard. I get that people are lazy, but my God. Anyway, I digress. I really didn't want to rant about that here. I, I will just got close on this. I had a, a YouTube supporter actually contact me the other day and said, I got into it with one of these uh, tattooers slash clowns that... Uh, say you can't tattoo over black and he got laughed out of the comment section by like-minded uh sheeple i'll call them i don't think any of them had ever even tried it and uh they never will they're all just parroting one another and they're all so certain of themselves he cited me as a reference point and um they all just laughed at him like like that's magic or it's all edited or something i'll put the uh I'll put the comment in here because it was so good I had to screenshot it. But just so you guys get a little taste of what I'm talking about, um, I try not to pay attention to these things, but it is pretty fucking embarrassing that the whole industry is still so so up its own ass in denial. I, I don't know what we're trying to, to prevent or uh, hide from here. You would think that everyone would want this knowledge and it could help everyone out so much to just, you know... Listen to it, um, interact with it, ask questions, not just flat out slam their feet in anger and say it doesn't happen. It doesn't exist. It's not real, you know, but what can you do? I may never get there. We'll see. All right. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day.